Dress like a lady. Dress like a lady. Mike, isn't it crazy how that happens? You sit here and listen to him sing for 45 minutes, and all of a sudden you find yourself singing it. Dress like a lady. <laughs> Yo, you got some falsetto, bro. I'm dressed like a lady. <laughs> wow. Oh, fuck me. Mike's been drinking. Don't go live yet, man. I don't know if you'll hear me saying that. We are live. We've been oh. live. <laughs> Dress like a lady! Everyone's taking their headphones out right now and uh, cleaning the blood off their shoulders. Dress like a lady! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's ears just popped. Sorry, peeps. Oh, I, got, I know a guy, if you guys are interested, if you have hearing problems. Oh. All right, let's uh, start the 20-minute uh, intro, shall we? singers too we fuck around. good evening everyone we are live this is right. oh. one <laughs> go ahead mark Dang, I, you know i'm finished I'm, I'm i didn't realize we were actually really live i thought you were just fucking around go ahead yeah we've been live the whole time we've been drinking actually for the past three days everybody welcome it's the vape team 137 the naughty list and i'll tell you what somebody on the channel who needs an introduction has been quite naughty the man who dresses like a lady <laughs> Mr. Archery set the general the, the king of <laughs> the king of clouds Mr. Matchy Matchy the matchstick man Mount Olympus the iron lung the third lung the king of clouds Mikey motherfucking vapes dress like a lady Dude, that shit stuck in me now Mark you see what you did what's up everyone also Mark is with us this evening good evening <laughs> folks <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so we're back, guys. We're back from Orlando. We had a beautiful family Christmas holiday family vacation. We went to Disney World. The vape team was in Disney. Uh, we also had barbecues. We went sh to vape shops. We walked out of vape shops and went into massage parlors. <laughs> Uh, we did all kinds of things. We're going to get into that on the show tonight. We're also going to share a whole bunch of new mods. We're going to do some up-close time. We're going to break shit down. We're going to talk about things. But first, well, we're going to do a little bit of a little something like this. We're going to do all that in an hour? Wow. you got a lot of plan for this show. Uh, you're actually going to be in charge of keeping us on track time-wise tonight, Mark. So why don't you keep us on track by sharing your buffet with everyone? Sure. Not, not a problem. i got a pretty disappointing buffet tonight. The uh, Vaporesso, what is it called, Mike? Transformers. The Transformer, there you go, with the drop, RDA on top, with some uh, cornbread pudding. Got the blue V-Boy with the iconic RDA. Oh, the fuck, that blue is sweet. Got some Nada inside of there, and then I got the Dreamer with the artha rda and inside of there i got some of this oh wait no i don't have that in there what do i have in there i have no idea i was gonna grab this until i realized it was still sealed uh, i don't know what's in there actually i'll tell you right now though hold on strawberry gummy from glassy liquid there you go <laughs> take it away there uh 
Mr. B. Yeah, what am I vaping on? I am vaping on a little bit of this Sweet to sweet Teeth Sticky Fingers from bradsvapor.com tonight. A little Sweet Teeth Sticky Fingers. And I'm vaping some of that in the Suck My Mod Nudge. This is the nudge on the nudge. So I'm double nudging tonight. When I hear the word nudge, uh, I'm not even going to say it. Never mind. Isn't a nudge like it has to do with the butthole or no? That's what I'm... In my head, it's sexual, but everything is sexual. Like, a hug is sexual, or, you know, a kiss is sexual. A kiss is sexual. sexual Yeah, he is. Uh, I'm also vaping on a little bit of this butterscotch from royalvapeproducts.com. A little bit of butterscotch from Joe Turner. And I'm also vaping on this contraption. This is the Wismec Machina uh, with the, boom, iconic with <laughs> Dude, that is awesome look I don't care what anyone says this is the squonk conic because I'm squonking the iconic on the machina but actually this has been a really good daily carry for me because it's got the bigger battery inside and it works really well so I'm vaping on that tonight there is a battery there is a build and there is juice so I'm, I'm 100% on the up and up tonight I'm, I'm gonna vape what I say and say what I vape uh, I picked this up in Orlando this is the I guess it's called the MVV, but it's from Dove Po. This is a gold box that I picked up, and it's fucking awesome, man. It's got a little potentiometer on there, the way 18650s. It's got a little indicator bar, and I have the reload on there with a little drip tip on top from signature tips. So there we go. Uh, we'll talk about this maybe a little bit later, guys. What do you think? The Superman mod? Yep. Word. Maybe we'll chat about that a little bit. Uh... I also picked up this fucking badass thing. This is from Purge. This is their uh, Squawk Mod from Purge. So I picked that up at the Vape Expo with the drop on top. These brand new drip tips just came in also. These are from Joe motherfucking Turner, RoyalVapeProducts.com. If you have a drop, you can check these out. Look at that shit. Beautiful. It's like a titty. Let's check that drip tip out for the uh, the old guys like me that like them nice and tall. Woo! That's actually the new drip tip that's going to be on the new colors coming out that Mark got, but he got it today in this sample, which we're going to talk about tonight, the Blitzen. The Donner and Blitzen. Blitzen. There you go. But that's pretty much what I'm vaping on. I got a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, I got an SQ, too. I'm vaping on SQ. I actually put the uh, SJMY bottle or whatever. X, S, what is that called, Mike? S, S, X. Yep, SJMY. SJMY bottles, perfect in the fucking SQ. Like they're made for it, like a like a beautiful pussy. I love it. Mm-hmm. So there you go, Mike Buffet. What's up? What's up? Uh, what are we vaping on tonight? Vaping on uh, SQ with this RDA. I think it's called like um, N two five six seven eight nine caviar, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm vaping on that, and here I have some. Uh, I got naked in there. Some naked lava flow. Some of this stuff here. This stuff is delicious. Good stuff. Make it. Vaping on that. I'm also vaping on the Bonza with the on the V Boy. And there I have some uh, sweet tooth Roy G Biv. Vaping on that. Ah, uh, yeah. Vaping on this right here too. <laughs> the S Priv by Smoke. <laughs> Holy shit! It's a party up top. What is that? Huh? It's like a celebration up top. Look at that. Look at, look at the eyes on the skull. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, vaping on that. In here, I have this new juice, right? This, yeah. This is a blue raz juice that I picked up in uh, what do you call it? in Florida at that vape shop. What was the name of the vape shop? Uh, Superior or Vaperior? Oh, well, you know what? I think I have this. this it, it was Vaperior. There we go. Vape. Vaperior. They're in uh, Davenport, Florida. Yes, this is a business card right there. There we go. Vaperior. Yes, so yeah, I bought that from there. I also got the naked from there. But uh, yeah, I got this blue rest. Uh, it's not as good as, uh, what do you call it? Blue pucker, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh, vaping on that. I'm also vaping on uh, another SQ with the iconic. In there, I have blue rest. Uh, let's see. Uh, new one here from uh, iJoy. 
2700 triple 2700 and uh this is like uh i think it's a captain tank all their tanks are called captain yeah this thing is actually impressive size wise just to give you guys an example this is the rx dna from wismic this was a triple 18650 so as you can see there it is actually taller than the 2700 mod so that's crazy it's probably they said they're claiming it's the smallest triple 2700 mod but i think it's the only one that's so well they win by I default know. yeah so they uh, by default i have the same juice in this one too that 100 ml juice co whatever it is uh what else are we vaping on oh vaping on this thing this is crazy looking man this is one of the strangest but coolest looking mods this is a new one from what the pioneer for uh, you oh uh, yeah 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 look at this thing the thing is just pure nuts there's the back of it Ooh. what the fuck? <laughs> that is crazy looking look at the bottom that is pretty wild dude it looks like a futuristic taser yeah, it's something like from the future. It's like, uh, I don't know what, how to explain this. Something like Transformers also, like a Transformer of some sort or some spaceship or I don't know. But yeah, this thing is crazy. It's got the new Yeehe chip in there. Uh, uh, what's the name of this chip? I can't remember. But anyway, it's got the new Yeehe chip in there. You can see there's the screen. We can't really make it out. It's too bright. But yeah, I got the Iconic on there. In here I have... I'm on fumes on my fa one of my favorite juices, and where is the bottle? There it is. R K O Y coil spill. Been dripping that, nursing that one actually. Uh, what else? And we're doing some mouth to lung action too. And not mouth to lung action, direct lung. So I got two, as you can see here, Aries going. I got the mouth to lung right here. I got the. This is the new uh, SX Mini by Yehi. I call this mod the tip over mod because that's all it does. It just constantly just tips over. Very annoying the mod. It's a very comfortable mod, but annoying. And I got the Oceanus with another Aries. And this one here, I'm actually, I got a Clapton built and I'm doing direct lung with it. So yeah, hmm. two of them here. And both of these got the same juice. I got Pina Colada from Skinny Vape inside both of these. One of them's got a six milligram. Six milligram, the other one's got three. Skinny vape. Yes. Uh, that's it. I'm actually messing around right now also. I was going to enter it in a buffet, but we'll see. But that mod, the one we picked up. Yes. It's squonker. It's, it feels nice in the hand. You know? And they did the right thing. This is like what... Uh, Basically, a geek vape should have done. Totally. All right, where it's got a separate door for your bottle. And then the bottom is your battery compartment. Yeah. Pretty cool. That RDA tool looks pretty good. Have you guys tried the RDA? I did. What do you think? I think that, I, first of all, I can't believe it comes with it. Um, let me see if I can grab mine. Hold on. I got it here. All I got to do is just juice it up. I haven't ran it yet. Yeah, but I ran it. It's pretty interesting on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right here. I'll, I'll dive down and show everybody. But yeah, it came with, uh, it was like a kit. So it comes with the mod. It also comes with, oh, look at Mark. Always on top of shit. I've got nothing else to do. Yep. You're good with your hands, too. You learn how to work it. <laughs> you really do. Uh, one second. Uh, Cape Fear Mike. Yes, we're going to talk about that too. His questions are, are you guys willing to talk about the new MTL sticks you bought versus RTA MTL devices? Yes. We'll talk about that in a second. Yep. I'll also talk about some do's and don'ts because I learned the don'ts. Yep. Don't daddle diddle do. So is that a fresh, that's a fresh build? Oh, th that's the build that came in it, right, Mark? Yeah, I haven't even used it yet. Yeah, so guys, take a look at that. That's the build. This is actually wet. I actually have used this. But it comes with the coil and with the build already installed when you get it. Pretty damn cool. Yep. So basically the device itself is a 
is a dual 18650. I dropped the RDA. Uh, parallel box mod. It's got some protection in it. Um, it's all, even got a switch on the back side. It's got an on and off switch for it. Well, let's see. What does it fit up to? What's the? Is it 24s or 25s? I haven't tested it. Uh, the one that comes on it is 24. Probably 20, maybe even bigger. Hold on, let me let me unscrew this. Actually, the one that comes on it is 22. Yeah, that's a 22. I have a, a 24 on there right now. Yeah, 25. 25 fits. That's the way it looks with a 24 on it. I will say that it's probably one of the ugliest mods, and it could have been so much better looking, in my opinion, if they just would have went... If they would have got... Well, th the thing I hate the most is this. I don't like this at all. Yeah, the guy Bruce put his name on it. This it one's looks, not bad. Remember, this there's going to have different colors. The purple, this one here looks dope. I didn't like that one because there's three different colors on yours. That color scheme. I actually like this one better. This color scheme. But yeah, that's kind of like why. But as far as like the 510 pin, uh, the way it squonks, the squonk bottle, the magnetic door that Mike was showing you guys earlier, really nice squonk bottle too. I mean, it's nice and soft. It's easy to fill up. The, the magnets on here are just nice and tough. All the metals feel good. There's no sharp angles. Fire button's great. Yeah, Brian, I got a question. Yeah. Blunk bottle, is that the same bottle from Varitube? No. Mm -mm. This no, is right? The, no, this is the Varitube squonk bottle right here. And then when okay. we hold it up next to this, that has a much higher... Yeah, okay kind of looked similar the the silicone the way it feels yes got that same feel like the ones from uh what they call it Baratu. yep see what i would do with that see that red door it would have been nice for just one color maybe all blue yeah all blue would be would have been great and get rid of the bruce name on the side yeah but even with those weaknesses it's such a solid performer i mean to have a, a dual you know, 18650 mod that's uh -huh. a squonker that has safety protection built in that has a nice performing button on there. Yeah. Um, it has an on and off switch right here that slides side to side. So if you want to turn it on and off, it also has a battery indicator bar. See that? Gives you like little warnings depending on how it flashes. Mm -hmm. Weight wise, um, it's, it's weight. It's got some weight to it with the batteries in it. Yep. But real quality feel to it. And the fact that it comes with an RDA that's actually vapable, it's a single coil RDA, pretty impressed. Yeah. Uh, the price that we got them for was uh, it was a show price, but kind of impressive on the price. What was it, like 30 Yeah, wholesale I think was 30 on it. Yeah. But, that, but that's like they're getting rid of it at cost, and that was the manufacturer directly. Yeah, so, so. I think this is basically, I think the retail is like around maybe like 60 bucks. I think, $60, $70 for this. For the mod and the RDA, actually, it's not a bad price. Yep. Oh, it squonks really good, too. Let me see if I can zoom into this. See how it floods the whole entire juice well? It is really nice. I like that way that bottom airflow is implemented. It goes in like that chamber. It comes up. Yep. Yeah, yeah so cool. the way it works, it has bottom airflow, and it also has side airflow. So you can see there's the bottom hole right at the bottom there, and then there's the side, and you can also shut off the side completely and just do the bottom or do them both together. I would say the pull, like the airflow pull on the RDA, feels similar to, I don't know, what do you think, Mike, like a Hadley or something? I haven't tried it, but the side airflow is non-adjustable, just so you know. They retail for like 99 bucks, right? I think this one said they seem on Brad's Vapor or something like that. Mike, the side is, is adjustable. It's adjustable with the uh, drip tip. Oh, no shit, huh? Yep. The drip tip twists and blocks the airflow. Actually, it's a top airflow. It's not side. Yeah, top airflow. Yep. Let me see. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, shit. So this drip tip is a... Oh, you can't even... Obviously, you could only use this drip tip, right? Yeah. Yep. Unless there's other shit in the bag that I'm not aware of. Yeah. How does that airflow work? Hold on. Let me take a look at this real quick. 
Yeah, it looks like the airflow slanted downward. So it comes in from the top, but it's slanted downward. Yeah. That's pretty cool. With it open. It's a nice smooth pull, man. It's a good, really nice single coil R RDA. That's included for, for with the package. Yep. It's impressed. I'm impressed. Sorry, it's not impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed that you're impressed. Yep. I know this, that after the show tonight, Amy, who found it at the show, actually, Amy was booth working for some reason. She was hitting the booth really hard, and she's the one that actually found it. And that's where I also picked up this other Dove Po uh, device that I think is fucking awesome, too. Two nice devices from them. And I so haven't liked any Dove Po stuff in the past. Let's talk about the bow. I know people are asking what's the advantage of the bow. Yeah. Over, uh, like, a, let's say, a mouth to lung RTA. Yep. So uh, we uh, basically, at the convention, Bo was there. And uh, we ended up buying. I know, uh, I think Mark bought uh, a whole thing. He, he bought another Bo device, and he bought this here, which is a, a power bank, basically a battery. So you take your Bo, and you put it inside, and it charges your Bo. And the cool thing is that you can vape it while it's in there. It's got a little battery indicator right there. And another cool feature that it has is right up here, this piece lifts up and you can put an extra pod in there for a spare. That is so awesome. And this spare. leather case that it has is basically you can use the case with or without this. I guess they're going to sell different types of cases so you can customize your uh, the leather. Oh, you know, which is pretty cool. Now, the advantage for this to a uh, RTA is uh, cell faping. You know, if you want something that's discreet, something that nobody could see that you're vaping, something that you could just take a hit and nobody even notice that you're actually vaping with it. That's what the difference between the two is. Obviously, you're going to get a much tighter pull with this. Something like this is, uses salt mix. Yeah, yeah I... Well, I don't want to. I don't want to advertise the fact that you should vape at an airport, but I was vaping this at the airport, so yes, yeah. that's, that's how I get away with vaping at the airport. Yep, because you could hold in something this small, you could hold the vapor in and not even exhale, and people don't even realize you're vaping. Yeah, but I mean, I like for the bow, for the box, and for some pods, I spent 110 bucks, so it can get pricey for the bow. But I think the bow is much nicer than the uh, the jewel. I was surprised also to hear that it's made from J-Well in France. Yep. It is really sweet. Yep. And I, I mean, I think if you're going to buy the bow, you have to get one of these charging boxes because it just it makes sense to have one of these things to get. I don't know how many charges you get out of it. Three or four charges. I think it's, they said four. But I like, I honestly like just using it in the charger. It actually is really nice inside the charger. Yep. Actually, those were like lifesavers for us having that. I actually had the bowl with me, I had the jewel with me, and I had uh, an RTA with me, a regular by the engine RTA. And uh, the majority of the time at the, in uh, Disney, I was hitting the bow. I don't even think I pulled the jewel out at all. It was the majority of the time I was with this here. And I take a few vapes, put it back in here, and it's just recharging whatever I just used. So I hadn't, I went the whole day, didn't have to worry about batteries or anything with this. And it's one of those things that it has the Nick salts in it, at least the cartridges do. So, you, you know, the Nick salts hit you so quickly and they give you that rush of the nicotine that you're not going to sit there and chain vape it. You're going to take like two or three pulls and then be satisfied like 15 minutes or 20 minutes until you can take another pull. Also, the clouds that it produces, even though it's still satisfying, because you guys remember like the old Sega likes. Those things, they didn't satisfy and they didn't have vapor. They didn't have shit. Like, they were just not satisfying. This one, it's not for clouds and it's not really for flavor, even though the flavor is pretty good. This is like a mint menthol flavor that Mike was vaping on that too at the show. Um, but I, I just find that it's it's satisfying, man. I fucking enjoy it. It's yeah. nice to be able to just hold this in my hand, take a pull, hold it in, and no, no vapor really even comes out if you hold it for more than like three seconds. The only thing is with something with the pod system like that, Always the first hit that I take, I cough. It makes me cough because of how strong it is. But then after that cough, I can keep vaping it and it's just smooth. Because well, I'm not used to that throat hit. You know? 
They also have different nicotine levels, like this one is 3.5% and this one is 4%. So this is percentage, guys. This is, uh, this is not milligrams. So that makes no sense. Cape Fear Mike, you're saying that we are, we are not pointing out differences. You really actually think you, you need to have a difference pointed out? Seriously? I'll give you, I mean, this is something logical. <coughs> you tell me what the difference is. <laughs> Portability. Yeah, it's a tight poll. There's not really much to talk about other than that. I'm sorry if we're not helping you in that way, but know, portability, it's easy. You just pop the pot in and you're ready to go. The pot system is probably going to be a little bit more expensive with the yeah. pot, but you're not going to, you know. Just, you know, it's for somebody who doesn't want to deal with, I guess, I you know, the building and all that shit. If you need to be stealthy, go to pod system. If you do a lot of flying, if you're at work and they don't allow vaping, go to pod system. Dress like a woman. Yeah. I Dress think... like a woman. Dress like a lady. Lady. A woman. Fuck. I messed that up. Uh, there, it's not... It's not that there's no difference. I think with like an RTA like the Ares or the Siren V2, you're going to get more flexibility in the draw preference that you have. You're also going to get more flavor. Uh, it's just much larger and it's not as portable. So for me, says it in chat so you could read it. Convenience. Yeah, yeah, it's convenience. Also, not having to rewick the fact that the tanks are disposable or the pods are disposable it's no must no fuss you can go about your day take a couple pulls and you're done if you want to refill them some of the pod systems out there you can actually refill and i know we picked up this when we were at the show this is actually salt yep from the vape shop we went that same vape shop we picked up the I actually picked that up too I mean, it's what, Have you, tried? Or you haven't tried yours right yeah this is uh 35 it's milligrams of 50. nicotine salt 50-50 blend. Yep. I actually got it inside the Suron drop. It's pretty good. Now, Mike, let me ask you this. Do you think you could vape that Nick salt in the Aries, or do you think that's too much? I'm not an expert at Nick salts, uh, but I think that it might be because the Aries has a lot of airflow. It's a loose mouth to lung. That that hit might make you cough. You know, it might be a strong hit. I think it's more intended for these smaller pods, these little coils. And plus, when using it, like an uh, Maltalung RTA, depending on how you're traveling, like if you're on a plane or whatnot, uh, every time I travel with a tank that's filled, it leaks on the plane because of the pressure change. Having something like this, it's not; it doesn't leak on me. So I could throw this in my bag, and I could still vape it once I get off the plane, unlike a tank. More than likely, it's going to be a big mess because it's going to it's going to leak like. Well, crazy. not really, not really. This one full tank all the time, all my airplane trips, and I never leaked out of this tank. Oh, is that the uh, the engine? Yeah, with the top airflow, I've never leaked with it. But uh, yeah, my wife, her all of her little tanks, her little that she uses, they all leak. All of them leaked out of her. On so the I, I would say it's a convenience thing over anything. I mean, the, the flavor, I think, is going to be much better on, on a uh, there you go. RTA. Jesse uh, says something, which you do have a point there. Maybe if the milligram has to be less. I think 35 might be like a little too much for an RTA, mouth to lung. Maybe something like a 25, maybe, or even a little bit lower on a Nick Salt. That would be better on those RTAs. Mark, can you crack one of those uh, pods open and pour it into the drop and tell me how it vapes? You want me to? I can do it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Oh, God. He's going to fucking cough his lungs out. Yeah. I'll crack up the one I'm using. No, you don't have to do it. I'm just kidding. Oh, don't do it. Don't Brian do it. Can do it. Brian has a full bottle. He could just open up his bottle and vape it. Yeah, there you go. Come on, Michael Vapos. Come on, man. For science. Michael Vapos. For science. Oh, Should I do it for science? All right, I'll do it. Come on. X1 in the chat for science. All right. You know what? Let me put it on my Entheon. That'll be a little... Yeah, do it on the Amphion. It'll be a little easier for me to deal with it. And if you want, I don't know how how long this little coil will last, but you could actually pop off this mouthpiece. Ah, and there's a little rubber plug right there. You could pop that plug and you could fill it up with another juice, but I don't think that coil is designed to last more than 
one or two podfuls. So yeah, you probably yeah. you might be able to get maybe five out of it. Five refills, maybe possibly. I do but know I, that there's there's a lot of discussion yeah. about like uh, Nick salts and what's good about them, what's bad about them, and there's a lot of science behind Nick salts and the fact that it's like a free base type of setup and how oh. how quicker the the nicotine salts hit your bloodstream compared to a standard e-liquid mm -hmm. and how that's actually really good. Like there's a chart. I, I could probably find it on my phone, but there's a chart, a chart that shows the onset time into your bloodstream compared to an analog cigarette compared to standard e-liquid compared to nicotine salts. And the, the graph sort of a little bit lower than a standard cigarette with the Nick salts, but it actually hits your bloodstream much faster than, than the vape, which actually would could could potentially uh, be better for um, people quitting smoking. Another thing is, uh, I heard that the salts for the Nick salts, basically with the nicotine, is uh, to so you could use a higher nicotine strength, but the salts kind of uh, takes away the harshness. Yes. Right. That's yeah. What, that... I know a lot of people are confused over that. That's what basically it is. Yeah. It, it, anybody that remembers vaping at 18 milligrams a nick or even for me like 35 milligrams a nick when it wasn't salts it was extremely harsh to get a satisfying pull at 35 now we all know that that guy that used to drip 35 milligrams a nick but yeah. for the most part most of us got a lot of harshness and a lot of sore throats uh from why don't you, that high nicotine why don't you stop trying to avoid it and drip i, I just dripped it you fuck Mark, <laughs> fuck any of you guys have this, the little the Suron? No, but I tried that at that vape shop that that guy had. Remember he was saying? Yeah. This what do you actually, think of that? Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, look, the vape is awesome off it. Woo! That's like a fucking party. I also got this one. It's called the Pearl. Look at the size of the box, the size of my head. <laughs> yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, it's pretty... Interesting looking. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I was going to like these pod systems, but they're actually pretty cool. <sighs> yep. What? Oh, don't drop that shit, my boy. Look at Brian. Brian's fucking like all messed up right now. He's got yeah, the I most serious Nick rush going, probably. Oh, yeah. I would never, ever, ever recommend doing what Brian's doing. Stupid. Yeah, don't do it. This was for science. <laughs> All right, so I have a tremendous amount of nicotine rush going through my body. It's kind of pleasant in a strange way, I must say. I don't feel nause nauseous at all, but I feel a little lightheaded. I feel tingly. Wow, that's like vaping a whole pot in one pull. Yeah. That was one of the dumbest things you've ever done before, I think. I can't believe you did something like that. I did it because you asked me to. Dress like a lady. Just like a lady. Uh, Joshua asked, has anyone on the panel tried the Rebellion Squonk from Purge? I believe we have that one, right? Yeah. Is that the one you we bought? I'm waiting for the nickel plated one. Or the nickel, whatever it's going to be. That's what I want to buy. That, that brass one. Oh. If I knew Phenom was going to buy it, if I didn't buy it, I would have bought it. The brass is dope. It is. Yeah. I just can't deal with the smell of brass. That was gold plated. I would have fucking had it already. I'll show you guys the interior of this purge. First of all, the door is machined and built so Look how thick that is. It's thick. It's really thick. It's just Look at this beauty. I think the only issue you had was the bottle, right? Brian? Yeah, look how close the bottle cap goes to the actual piece sticking down, like the, the where the um, the tube slides over. You can see, like, the tube is that the uh, inner tube looks like it's almost in the bottle. Yep. But that's like no wasted space then. That's I know, it does fit. It kind of works. Yeah. But uh, it's a pain in the ass to get the bottle out, right, Brian? Not really. No? No, just grab it. Oh, okay. Grab it and then pull. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Nice bottle, too. Mm -hmm. Delrin. Yep. I like that. The Ultim. Yeah, Ultim, I mean. Yep. yep. And the inside of the... Yeah, look at this. 
has ultimate tray basically with a divider. Yep. Beautiful. What's really cool is that it comes with a and a refill. Bottle. Yeah. The Altum top is really nice. Comes in a bottle, Altum refill bottle, and a twenty seven hundred sleeve or eighteen six fifty sleeve. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I think the only the only negative I have with it right off the bat is that it's big for being a single battery squander. Yep, big as but, shit. But if you yeah, want that, the inner walls are though. I know. If you want that durability, I mean, look how fucking thick that is. That's if you guys crazy. want to see the size, check this out. A lot of people have the pulse. Here's the pulse, right? It's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. fucking huge. And these are made in the U.S., I believe. So yeah. Yep, it says it right on the door. Yep. Made in the U. Uh, we paid. I think we paid one sixty or one eighty. That 180. was the expo price. I don't know what they go for retail. I think they were like two forty or two fifty, which is pricey, very pricey. I um, actually came very close to buy one. There was two in the display. Actually, there were three. There was those two, the brass one. And then another two that had like splatter paint. So I'm like ready to buy one. And I'm like, ah. Then I turn around, like, I don't know, someone started talking to me. I turn around and I see Brian has one. I'm like, Brian, you bought one? He's like, yeah. Then I'm like, all right, screw it. I'm going to buy the same one. I go to buy it. It's gone. I'm like, what the? He's like, yeah, we sold it already. I'm like, where's the brass one? Oh, we just sold that one too. <laughs> He's like, we got the splatter paint one. I'll give you a good price. I don't want the splatter paint one. I want one of the other ones. Mark was the other guy that bought the one of them, and Phenom bought the brass one as I was having a conversation with somebody. So I was like, that's all right. Yeah, I think it's fair compared to the pr price of a lot of those custom, small, manufactured, USA made squonkers out there. This mm -hmm. one's build quality is second to none. And for the price, I think if you're into collector's pieces, small production lines, and supporting small businesses, this thing's fucking badass. The edges are definitely a little bit more sharp than some of the rounded edges on some things. Is it sharp? It's not sharp. It's just they're not smooth. Another yeah. reason why I bought it was because the guy there did watch my uh, review on their RDA, and he wasn't pissed off at me that I didn't like it. So, uh, Quick shout-out from Pal702. He said, Yo, Mike Vapes. He pre-ordered the Iconic from Brad's Vapor. That airflow and my squonk have a date. Congrats, man. You deserve it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, pal702. Thank you. Thank what, you I want to see, what I want to see is them. Signature, make a 2700 of this. Dude, tell me about it. I would like to see Signature make a dual 18650 one of them. Yeah. Yes. Even though I like the size, I like this mod a lot. A lot. I mean, that's... A lot. A, a 2700 would be like... Because oh. it's just kind of make it just a little bit taller a little bit bigger you're not going to really be able to tell oh, be awesome dude what is this fucking dry uh, Vasily keeps on asking me that question and I haven't had a chance sorry Vasily to, I'll answer now what do I think of the Smoant Cylon there it is this is the Cylon and uh, there's the top of it I have a 28 millimeter on it right now this is a new one from Smoant you can see no overhang with the 28. I got the Apocalypse, uh, what's the Elite 2 on there? Oh, it's a comfortable mod. Real nice. Everything about it is real nice. The only issue I have with it, and this is only because this is a beta version. They're actually, I told them my complaint. They told me, oh, no, you have a, a, one of the first beta versions. I'm going to send you a new one, they said. Is this battery door has that same issue that I had with the V-Boy. Remember, Mark? Yep. The V-Boy, you put it down on a counter or whatever, and just, just by putting, putting it down, you slide it forward a little bit. What it'll do is it'll open a battery door on here. That's the only issue I have with it. Other than that, it's basically, they've kind of uh, copied the G-Class on this, yeah. my opinion. It's got, like, the clocks and all that stuff on here. The way it, it's like a G-Class, basically. You know? Does it feel but, the same quality as the G-Class bike? No, but I'll tell you something, though. The one complaint I have with the G-Class, obviously, is the sides of the G-Class, those metal, makes it uncomfortable. This feels comfortable in the hand. But I like. I would. I wish the button was here. 
I like the fire bomb on on a face. Would have been sweet. But at least, hey, look, if they had put the fire button on the face, then it's going to be like you guys overdid it, making it look like a G class. You know, it would look like a V boy too. Yeah. So, you know, but it's not a bad mod. It's pretty nice. Yeah, there's only so many ways that you can make a DOI 18650 regulated mod shaped. You know what I mean? Sure. Without making it bigger, because everybody wants to sort of make it that compact fist size. So, Mark, uh, why don't you show everybody what you bought with the orange mod? Oh, yeah, the orange mod. You're, <laughs> pr you're proud and loud, so show it off. I'm very proud, even though it's a said, piece of shit. The battery of my little remote that I use for my cameras is dead. And it's like a watch battery. So now in order to change cameras, I have to turn one camera off. Wait a minute. Put it, you don't have to do an up close. But I just think it looks... I don't know. I love orange. It's the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The V-Fang. Yep, the Snow Wolf V-Fang. I just seen that in the cabinet, and I just have a, had to have it. Fucking sexy. Yep. I actually got those also. Uh, they sent me. Let me show mine. I mean, uh, yeah, this probably oh, doesn't realize, huh? Matchy matchy. There you go. <laughs> uh, matchy matchy. Camo life. Yeah. Look at that one, huh? I got that. It's so weird because I got I got those today from Segele, and I didn't even know they were sending anything to me. Yeah. I actually got two of them. They sent me both camels. Then I got this one here, this other camel one. So that's why you're wearing the hat. No, I but this wasn't planned. <laughs> but dude, look hat. at that shit, huh? <laughs> matchy matchy. Yeah. Mike's going hunting for venison tonight for dinner for tomorrow night. I think the camo is the new in thing because uh, Geek Vape, you know, they also had this. Yeah. Which my green screen's picking up and you can see through it. That's awesome. But yeah, this is pretty badass, man. I love this fucking Aegis. Yep. So has anybody used this new atomizer from Geek Vape? I'm kind of I'm gonna build it tonight. Yep, you know, me too. I just I just opened up the package right before the show for that one. What's it called again? The Blitzen? The the Donner and Blitzen. Or the yeah, the Blitzen. Donner and Blitzen. I fucking love the drip tips it comes with. Yep. That's good. It reminds me basically of an aromamizer. Yep. Yep. It's the aromamizer, miniature version of the aromamizer. On screw it's got a postless build deck. I wonder if it has a That airflow yeah. looks like it's gonna be super smooth too. It's set up just like the aromamizer. Holy shit. Now, can you see where the juice comes in? Do you know where it comes in? Right from these. Nope. The other. Oh, I see where it is. Look uh, on the other side. The other. It's in the inside. See those openings that look like they might be airflow openings, but they're not. That's. I think the juice pours in through there. Huh? Yeah, because the airflow is the side, with all the little yeah. holes. Yeah, you're right, Mike. Right there, and then it comes in underneath, just yeah. like the, uh, what you call it, the aromizer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that lines up. With uh, if you look at the build deck, there's like a little indent where you're gonna put your wicks right there. See that little slit? Yep, it lines up with that. It lines up with that. Looks like it's gonna give. You gotta wick that good, most, so you don't get escaping liquid. Those little holes right there. Uh, that's gonna be a nice fucking saturated vape. Oh, yep. I can't. It's too tight. This has an Easterish kind of feel to it. This drip tip, right? I like that honeycomb drip tip. They're pretty sweet. Yep. Now, is that a clone drip tip? Well, yeah, technically it's a clone drip tip. <laughs> it, it looks like they also it also came with a spare glass section. And also, it, it looks like a wider glass section. That's oh, yeah, 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 that's it. They got, it comes with the bubble glass. Yeah. I was going to ask. Perfect look. glass oh. take. Yep. That's cool. There's actually a guy named uh, Bubble that invented the bubble tank. And I think that's a ripoff. Thank you. And then this strip tip too. 
Yeah, Blitzen looks nice. Uh, there goes the good drip tip. Mark. And Lovely. what is this, guys? There's a little tool in there. Look at that. That is basically, I think, to unscrew to take the tank apart. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. The yeah, it's pretty hard done. Inside tank. where the juice pours in and turn. And there's the tank extender. Now, that extender is for the bubble glass. Yes, glass. yes. I'm going to put it on just to see what it looks like. Yeah, do it, do it. I want to see it. Yeah. That's where I think the tool comes in to unscrew it, to take it apart. Yep. You take the tool I out. I wouldn't say it's a clone of the aromizer. I'd just say it's influenced by it. Doesn't look, it doesn't look like an aromizer to, to consider it a clone, I don't think. So it looks like you unscrew the top. There's your fill. And this <laughs> probably, yeah, see this? This little tool goes unscrew. in the airflow holes. It allows yeah. you to get a grip. And set the juice flow holes. Yep. So you can spin it to open it up. Which is a good idea because you really got nothing to grab on to take it apart. So I like that tool. Yeah, it's really cool. And then you can take your extender and screw that little bitch on here. Just like that. Pop your glass off. Don't lose your fucking O-rings because they're going to want to come off too. They're stuck to the glass. See that? Do you hate that? You guys hate that when they're stuck to the glass like that? Yeah. Those fucking cheap. I hate them O-rings, man. I like it so that way I don't lose it. Yeah, but if you want to replace the glass, sometimes they're stuck and you go to take it off, let's say, and it breaks in half. You know, yeah. There's looking annoying. All right, so there's that. And... You need the instruction manual, Brian? You need to suck my dick, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong way. All right, this is too much for you, Brian. You're going to hurt yourself. Shut up. It's trying to do it in front of the camera while also looking at it. Uh, Mr. Miles, it's called the Blit Blitzen, and it's made by Geek Vape. Dude, this glass is going to last me like a day until I shatter it. That bubble tank looks fucking badass on there. Yeah. That looks sweet. Let me put the deck back on. Dude, I could have my built and filled by now. You couldn't even have the fucking top cap off. <laughs> you couldn't change a drip tip in that amount of time. Come on, Brian. Hurry up. Let's see it. That's the way I'm going to wrap that. Upside down. There you go. Up. Yeah. yeah. Awesome looking. Look at this airflow from the side. You guys have already seen it. Uh -huh. Looks like a lube dispenser at an adult film store. <laughs> There you go. The Blitz and Bitches. See, we should have had ours built for the show so we could that way we could vape them. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. We'll see about the airflow. Uh, how many MLs holds with bubble glass? Good question. I have no clue. Mm -hmm. It might be like something like maybe uh, either two or four with the other glass and four with the bubble maybe or five with the bubble i'm not sure uh steven says it needs leds i agree it does looks like it. a gumball machine yep it does speaking of leds it's a bit tall let me put it on what can i put this on Mark, did you get this uh did you get this mod from smoke I don't think I no. I don't think I got that one yet. I, I got all these packages. For some reason, there's a bunch of packages that are stuck in customs, and I don't know why. This uh, red is fucking unbelievable. The paint on this. It looks really nice. It is real nice. That's what I went for right away. I opened up the red one. That and it comes with the uh, the light up beast tank, right? Yeah, it'll come together. Nice. Pair that next to a reload just for height. With the extender on in the bubble tank. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got giveaways to do. So it's that time. It's that time of the month. It's that time of the day. It's that time of the week. Count the fifth bubble room. Oh, Jared. Reds, vapor. <laughs> Fucked up. Man. Stop. It was, Mr. Bubble came out with the first bubble glass tank, so.
You guys are bad. Stop. Prop to Mr. Bubble. All right, let me look up uh, last week's show. Mm -hmm. In order to win, obviously you must be subscribed to the vape team. So if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. You also have to be legal vaping age in the state, province, region, country, place you live. You also need to be from the United States of America. You have to be well, a U.S. resident. What if it's legal, the age of 16, to, to vape legally? Is it okay for a 16-year-old to win? I'm not the fucking cop, so yeah, if it's legal, then yes. All right. But it's U.S. only, and there's no place in the U.S., I don't believe, to be 16 to vape, so... What if you're wrong? Yes, you are right, Gregory Brown. That's what like if it. you're fucking right? Uh, vape, vape Head said, I haven't been around for a while, but I love the fucking vape team, and we love you. Hell yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, I'm slow here. Hold on. Both of you. Mm. Uh, no squonk yet. No dollars, huh? No squonk yet. No dollars. No squonk yet. No dollars. All right. So. Oh, how does that go again, Mark? Your song? Oh, shit, I forgot. You Dress like song a about or something? Dresses like a lady? Don't, I no, forgot. No, don't say it because then I'll think of it. Once I forget the song, then I just forget it completely. Yeah, I totally Dress forgot like it. Dress like a lady. Dress like a lady. All right. <clears throat> All right. Last week's winner is going to be. Do, 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 do. Uh, I want to say convenient vaping, C O N V E N I E N T. That's convenient, right? Yeah. Convenient vaping. Yeah, Very show, guys. Great. I got the lemon berry pound cake for my sister and myself on Black Friday. Not good, man. I get rid of blah, 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 blah. Nice job on. I like to touch my box for a G box, Brad. There Congratulations. There you go. Hey. So you just want a G-Box from bradsvapor.com. And if you didn't win a G-Box, you can head on over to bradsvapor.com, pick yourself up one. If you want the best customer service, awesome Facebook group, and a passionate member of our community, check out bradsvapor.com and look for Brad. He'll hook you up. This week, we got another giveaway, something special. We are giving away, Mark? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. The Bruce. Woohoo! Yeah, so we're giving away one of these Dove Po. I think it's called something else. Is there a box somewhere? Let me yeah, look it up. It little. is called the Armor. Armor, yeah. The Last Samurai, the beginning of Nirvana. Quite a long name. But there you go. Comes in this beautiful box with Bruce on there. And uh, yeah, it's a triangle of secrets right here that you're going to have to get into a pyramid, maybe. Boom. So, you're going to have to say, hmm, I want to take a big hard pull on Bruce, Brad. <laughs> I want to take a big hard pull on Bruce, Brad. Or how about... No, no, don't change it. Don't change it. That's I'm not it. changing it. I'm not changing it. Greg Schultz just donated $12. I'm not sure for what, but thank you, Greg Schultz. And uh, he also... Actually, Greg Schultz has a brand new Facebook group called G Coils, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look that up real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Coils in disguise. G Coils. Oils in disguise. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Uh, let's see here. He can about, type in chat, actually. How about Bruce takes it in the butt? We've already said it. Don't change it. Oh, okay. Brian wants to jerk off Bruce, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> it might be true, but I can't. That's not the catchphrase. Uh, don't post it here, by the way, guys. Post it in the replay of this show after it re-uploads to YouTube. So there I, don't, you go. I want Bruce in my butt. What's what's your group? What's the group? Was I right with G Coils? Greg Schultz? Uh, I think so, because you want happy faces. There you go. 
So there you go, everybody. Coils, coils in the sky. Oh, can I do a giveaway? You can do anything you want. I want to do a giveaway on this show tonight. Let's do it. Oh, and uh, this is going to be a chat giveaway. So while I'm going to go grab what I'm going to give away tonight, let's see X1's in the chat. Fill that chat up. Let it scream. This giveaway is for all the people that left already. <laughs> Mike, can I make one more announcement? Yeah, go ahead. If no. you guys won the G box, or if you win anything on this show ever, except for Mike's giveaway, which will be completely separate, but anything from Brad'sVapor.com when there's a giveaway, contact me on the Vapor Chronicles on Facebook Messenger. Send me your name, your address, your telephone number, your email address, and a picture of your photo ID, and I will send that information over to Brad. And if you have any trouble understanding anything I'm saying right now, take a look at that special person in the corner right there doing totally irrelevant, totally nonsensical hand gestures, and you'll be filled in with absolutely nothing to assist you. Thank you. I'm just doing sign language for our deaf viewers out there. Okay. So the giveaway I'm going to do today is some Inikin products. Yes. Right, this giveaway is brought to you by Inikin. Mark, you want to play your ad? <laughs> yes, like a lady, lady, lady. Uh, coming, soon, coming soon all right so basically uh one of the items i'm giving away tonight is the lift by anakin have you guys tried the lift that's like it makes your rda into an rdta basically that's what it does yes I have no, tried, no i have tried the lift but it didn't work with the drop Okay, but yeah, I've tried. I tried it uh, with the Druga. I had tried it. But anyway, yes, I got a brand new lift right here from Minikin for you guys. Yes. And with that, I will be giving away an Aries MTL RTA by Phil and Dimitre and Minikin. Yeah, so I'm going to give these two away. Chat giveaway for you guys as a thank you. Thank, thank you. you for watching. Thanks thank for you for watching. participating. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And thank you for dressing like a lady. Dressing yeah. like a lady. <laughs> Enough of that. And here's a word from our sponsor. You want me to pull the pull the winner? Wait, wait. We're looking at a, a video by Brian. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> That was Mark oh. in uh, Walmart. People of Walmart, <laughs> everyone. All right, hold on. Here. All right, let's do the chat giveaway. Let's do 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 do. Okay. Here's the Greek making a Greek salad. Dude, did I cook up a storm? Dude, Mike is like a fucking line cook. Like, he cooks like... No he made literal fucking party trays, like full-size trays full of hot sausage, regular sausage, hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken. He was basting, I, uh, flipping, rotating, keeping it keeping it warm. It was a bomb-ass barbecue, and Mike just did it with... Like, he was just in there vaping, checking his Instagram, fucking controlling shit, man. I'm telling you. Actually, vape dogs I've ever had in my life, the best hot dogs ever. Hot, those hot dogs are dope. That's because I fucking marinate the hot dog on the barbecue. Wow. It's, mm. But uh, yeah, Vapor, I was actually recording me, had me live on Instagram. I was doing uh, Mike Mike Cooks, they were calling me, uh, hashtag uh, cook that shit. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, who's the giveaway winner? Mark. Right. Winner is going to be winner. Douglas Fur Cor Corwin, C-O-R-W-I-N, Douglas Corwin. There you go, Douglas Corwin. Uh, contact me on Facebook. Send me a message. Either on Mike Vapes Facebook. Yeah, do it on Mike Vapes on Facebook. Send me a message. Douglas Corwin. Douglas Corwin. Right? Yes. So, yeah, uh, yeah the food was awesome. Everything was awesome. The whole trip was pretty cool. Disney was awesome. Uh, we saw actually a fan, right? Yep. There was a fan in Disney. Yeah, and that we was. Were, we were sitting over in the smoking section having a vape with the whole crew, and we're walking out, and one of this guy that was just there vaping recognized us, and, and we got a picture with him. So it was that the vape team with this guy was just a random Disney guy. 
Mm-hmm. So shout out to you, sir. It was fucking nice meeting you. Yep. Nice that you didn't know his name, Brian. I'm not fan. fucking a Mark. <laughs> so someone wants to know my secret for the hot dogs. Yeah, what is your secret? Yes. Uh, your uh, basically, uh, a, <laughs> a cooking channel. I'm going to start a barbecue channel. Uh, I take barbecue sauce and I mix random spices inside with the barbecue sauce. And then as it's on the barbecue grilling, I just basically baste it with it and let it cook together on there. And then I use the hot dog buns that are the best, in my opinion, are the ones that are potato, the potato, potato buns. buns with those. And the taste is just amazing on them. Fucking. These fucking hot dogs are juicy and they were fucking good. Yep. Usually hot dogs on a grill are pretty shitty, but man, these are awesome. Yeah, I like the hot sausage. That was my favorite. I'm sure you did like that, you fucking stick bastard. Oh well, yeah. Speaking of the the vaping section or the smoking section at Disney, this was this actually happened. This was real. Here we go. This is us chilling with all the smokers. What do we have here? <laughs> a dead guy. <laughs> Literally asleep on the bench. <laughs> It's like a homeless person. <laughs> yeah, he's like a <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, one more thing. This was this is a proud moment. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, yes, they were Nathan hot dogs. <laughs> this is Mark on the carousel. <laughs> I actually had a video. I put it up on uh, our Facebook group, the Vape Team Facebook group of Mark on there, and Brian just giving me the stare down. I gave you the fucking. I gave you eye contact from the from the horse. Yep. And last but not least, this was what Mark was eating when we went to Sizzler. Yes, ladies oh, and gentlemen, man. we went to fucking Sizzler, and here we are. Dude, oh those, no! What do we have those there? Are so good. Yep. There's a taco. And some sort of a nugget. They were, they were uh, like corn fritters. They were like cornbread with corn inside of them, like a cream style corn. Oh man, they were good. The taco sucked. It's horrible taco, but it was sizz- sizzler. What do you expect? The yep. Burger was pretty good, but after that meal, I had like massive heartburn, massive diarrhea. Dude, I've been pissing out of my ass for three days after eating a <laughs> sizzler. I can see why they're going out of business because, yeah, their food's pretty bad. It was tough. Why do you think I didn't go? <laughs> Were they going to eat at Sizzler? Big mistake. There was there was only the whole place. There was like one person there. I'm like, holy shit, we should not go here. Corn nuggets. Yep, there you go, Matt. They were like corn nuggets. They were awesome. Of course, Matt knows. Thank you, Matt. Somebody give a, sh- a pound of Bruce out there, Reyes, Venezuela, saying what's up to Bruce. <laughs> Hush puppies. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it. Corn fr- fritters. Yeah, they yeah. were like a, they were like a corn fritter, but with cream style corn. Like you bite into them, and they were like gooey. Yeah. <laughs> they were probably undercooked too, but still, they were good. It was probably wet dough coming out in your mouth. Oh, let's give a shout out to Vape Rye. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yes, we got to meet Vape Rye in person. He actually hooked us all up with a little gift. Yep. Uh, shout out to Vape Rye. He made these. He actually made these little boxes, which are pretty cool. And open it up, and inside there we got Vape Rye custom coils. Yes, this is a nice little set right here. Love it. I've actually thrown them in a couple things. Oh, and the, and the little Mark doll from Vape Rye. <laughs> There's Mark right there. Vapor, I uh, hooked him up with that. He wishes he could double fist like that, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is a gift. My 100K uh, gift from Vapor. I thank you so much. Yeah, you guys haven't checked out Vapor. I check him out on Instagram, man. His fucking pictures are top notch pictures. Vape underscore Rye. Check him out. Good Not one. only that, he's a hu- the most humble. Kind, generous, thoughtful, nice fucking guy in our community. He's a wonderful yeah. person, man. I would seriously, I would probably put it in him if he asked. Yep, I agree. I probably would slide it in. I think yep. he's actually trying to put it in me while we're there. But anyway, 
Yep. <laughs> now, Rai's awesome, man. Yeah, he is super awesome. Yep. We gotta get a little doll hat for that, Mark. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like a Ken doll hat? He said, that's not Mark, that's Mr. Clean. If Mark takes off his hat, you guys will understand. He looks just like him. Just looks like just like him. Take your hat off, Mark. Let's do a side by side comparison. Come on, Mark. You could do it. I won't come off. Do it for the fans, Mark. Glued on. Mark, I'll take my hat off if you take yours off. I won't come off. Ugh. Ugh. I won't come off. That's just do it. I haven't taken it off in a few years. Ugh. It won't come off. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Do it! Do it now! It's a lot of action. Look at that. Dude, he's fucking it. it would be nice if it finished coffee creamer. Yeah, what that would be sweet if it wasn't like a little creamer. Yep. And it shot cream in your coffee. Yep. You probably cream. use that every cup you make. Oh yes. Alright guys, so Douglas uh, Corwin, make sure message me on Facebook with your address so I could send you the Inican lift. And the Aries tank, all right? Congrats again, brother. I just saw him in chat. How, what the fuck? Got awfully quiet in here. Are we still live? I would fucking rub your back, Mark. I would just... Mm. I would tickle. I would tickle your back, Dad. Probably don't want to talk about when you hopped in a shower with me in uh, Orlando, probably, right? Dude, I didn't hop in the shower. I was waiting to get a shower, and you took, like, literally, like, a 14-year-old just learning to jerk off shower. Oh, my God, Brian. I totally forgot to tell you. Yeah. Actually, let's talk about uh, how Mark uh, clogged the toilet. Yep. Two that fucking was... toilets fully clogged. <laughs> <laughs> Two toilets completely clogged. We had to go out and buy a plunger from fucking Walgreens. <laughs> that That's was... what I wanted to talk to you about, man. I am so sorry, brother. There was a fucking plunger next to my toilet in my bathroom. I don't care. I knew it. See? Dude, I, I, I'm in the bathroom taking a leak after you guys left, and I'm looking. I'm like, what the fuck's that? I'm like, oh, my God, there's a fucking plunger here. We went around... And then we had to make Brian go to fucking Walgreens and buy a plunger. Yep, that's what I did. Yep. So, that's yeah. what I did. I shit that night. I didn't shit that morning. So it had to be somebody else, like one of the kids or something. Because And I seen a little dab of blood on the toilet paper. So it definitely wasn't me because I'm not bleeding from my ass. I guarantee you there's blood on your toilet paper. There's no, <laughs> there's no possible way there's not. That log is so huge coming out of there. Fucking your tear. ass is torn apart. <laughs> you have tear marks. <laughs> There's probably scarring from previous tears that have healed. Well, the funny part was when we were saying the toilet's clogged, everybody just looked at Mark. Right away. It's like, what the fuck? They did. They just looked at Mark. Yep. I had nothing to do with that clogging incident. Uh, like I'll, I'll usually shit and flush it, or if it's too big, I'll crack it with my toe, and then I'll flush it. So that way it goes down in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so Past Insanity says that Mark's beard hair looks like pubic hair clumped together. My goatee's a little crooked. I got one side growing longer than the other. Yeah, I was just going to tell you. Grab your scissors. Cut it right now. Fuck it. Yeah, let's that. do it on the show. Let's dive down. Let's do it. Hold on. Cut like a lady. I like it when Mark takes off his shirt. I love it too. Oh, there's something crazy about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, somebody said that it was torn apart by Brian. I'm not tearing apart anything. Let me tell you that right now. A little higher. There you go. Mm-hmm. Still looks too much. I don't know why. Pull the other side down. Is it even? I just need to cut it in general. People want to know if the carpet matches the drapes. Did you flat iron it today? No, I didn't. I don't <laughs> I don't flat iron it anymore. <laughs> there is no carpet, thank you. 
I got to eat my big scissors. What did I replace the toilet snuff? Oh, I want to share one more thing. So we pull up to the to the. We traveled long distances. Mark came from Chicago. I came from the Philadelphia area, uh, down to the house. And Mike was already there. Fidem was already there at the house. So we went to Walmart, which you saw the pictures from that. And besides Mark having outbursts in Walmart and all kinds of other disruptions that we had, uh, we get to the house. We pull up to the the. I guess it was like sort of a guard shack where there was a gate. And Amy, my wife, is driving the, the rental car. And Angela and Amy are in the front like the parents. And Mark, Marcus, and Mar- uh, and myself are in the back seat like little children. And Amy rolls down the window and randomly just says to the guy at the booth, he's like, Mark, F- or Babe and Fagan's in the car. And the guy's like, are you fucking serious? And he runs into the shack and grabs his mod and his tag. And <laughs> comes back out. <laughs> <laughs> and actually knew who Mark was, this random security yeah. guard at the fucking booth. It was epic. It was That's such an crazy. awesome moment. And you want to hear how random this is? The guy that actually knew Mark actually knows Vapor Eye. I thought that crazy. was set up by Amy. Yeah, like, meanwhile, Vapor Eye knows that guy. That so he's crazy. texting Rye and he's telling Rye, dude, I can't believe that fucking Vape and Fagan and Mike Vapes are staying at my place. <laughs> That was weird. Yeah, that's crazy. Somebody right. said the Vape Squad would have been a, a would have been a dope ass name. Isaac Sanchez said that. What's up, Isaac? Yeah, the Vape Team came from the A Team because I love the A Team. So that's where the whole Vape Team name came from. And if you remember the earliest intros to the show, it was actually a clip from the show The A Team. Yep, I remember it. Yep. Nice, Mark. That's classy. All right, guys. So, well, since Mark's cut his nose hair, who knows what he'll be cutting next? We're done. Same vape time, same vape channel next Thursday. The fucking vape team. We're going to dress like a lady, and we'll be back chilling with you guys, our family. Dress like a lady. Dress like a lady. See you next week, guys. Much love. Ladies. Bye. I got snot on the end of my scissors. Thanks, Mark. I can't believe you're cutting your pubic hairs now. What the fuck? 20 minute <laughs> outro begins now. Dress like a lady. Dress like a lady. Lady, lady, lady. start wearing a bra. <laughs> Dress like a lady, big fella. Dress like a lady. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> up everybody's ears on that one. I'm gonna have to put a headphone warning in the in the description. <laughs> Mark, 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 Mark. So if you do the comments, you can see how how many people are so far behind. That one guy commenting about the phone. What dignity do you speak of? What dignity do you speak of, fool? Dress like a lady! Dress like a lady! Oh, Jesus, Mark. <laughs> I think that's it. Anything else, guys? Uh, yeah, just one more thing. Let's do it, Mark. Dress like a lady!